Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. This is episode 189. We're getting to that 200 mark. I'm so excited. But this is episode 189, and I want to welcome you. If this is your first time watching, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram family? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? If this is your first time watching, put a one in the comments. Let me know if this is your your first time popping on. If you have been rocking with me for a minute, put OG in the comments. I see Trafina, I see Rosa, I see Vintage Pop Soul, I see Deshaun. Go ahead and put a put an OG in the comments if you were OG with me. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, hi Kimberly on Instagram. One. Come on, one. Well, this will not be your last time, I assure you. So come on in the house on this Saturday morning. I am still giving you Barry White vibes, even though I've just finished coaching. Shout out to Janelle Simone, my inner circle client, who I just got done coaching, who's actually the reason why I'm popping on, because we ended on such a good, good energy vibe that I wanted to share it with you on this Saturday. What's up, Arisha? Hi. Hey, it's your Valerie. What's going on? So today I want to just share with you like I said, I just finished. Um, I just finished coaching my client, and um, we ended on this note that I just wanted to share with you. Um, and this, you're getting voice and face of I was out all night at a party, and I didn't wash my face yet. That's what you're getting right here. You're getting um, sexy Barry White vibes in my voice because I was out screaming last night. One of my girlfriends had a birthday, so. I was out with her. But here's what I wanted to put in your spirit today. You know how Facebook gives you um, the uh, memories. A memory will pop up on your Facebook timeline like that you posted this, you know, eight years ago. So I had a post that I posted two years ago in 2017. And I was thanking a friend of mine. His name is Imar Kennedy. Shout out to you, Imar in Atlanta. And I it was it reminded me how I had reached out to him. Um, we did a video chat, a random video chat. And I was like, oh, by the way, I'm planning to move to LA. Like I'm selling everything, leaving the house, you know, like just packing up the car and going for my dreams in Los Angeles. And Imara said something to me. He said many things with one thing he said that was so concrete, so sincere. And he just said, all doors will open. Not I, I hope all doors will open. He said, all doors will open. And as I just was wrapping up with Janelle Simone, my client, I said, we were wrapping up. It was our first session. I love my first session with my clients because we're laying the foundation, setting goals, getting excited, right? And I said, girl, all doors will open. And I'm telling that to you too today. Because when we sit in an expectation, not I hope they open, oh God, please, you know, I'm really going for this, I'm scared. No, all doors will open. And I actually declare that the doors are already open. You're not sure which one those are, but they are open and waiting for you to just walk through. And I remember like, God, when he said that, that is the way that I just operate in this life and in this career from an expectation. So what are your expectations of your life, of your career, for your relationships? Many of us walk around in this hope, hope and pray and wait only mentality versus if whoever you're praying to or meditating to, I believe for me that that just God is just so powerful and I'm a beautiful likeness, right, of that. And I believe if I just even think it, it is already done. And we start to waver because we want things so bad. You know, there's something I'm going to share with you probably next week about really sitting in your desires from a place of joyful desire versus painful need. And I got that from listening to some meditation stuff with Abraham Hicks. But let that sit in your spirit. Are you thinking of your career? 
the things that you want in your life from a painful need, AKA desperation, right? You want it so bad that it brings up feelings of, of unworthiness. It bring, brings up feelings of, uh, of lack. It brings up feeling of, oh, will it ever really happen? I want it so bad, but I don't want to want it this bad because if I want it this bad, then if I don't get it, then I'll be hurt. It's like loving somebody, you know what I mean? Like I'm choosing not to love. I'm going to protect my heart. I've been hurt before, right? I've been hurt before. I don't want to just give him my heart. I don't want to give her my heart. But God, if all you get to do is love someone really hard and really passionately for three weeks, three years, like isn't that worth feeling that real love? And so I say that and I'm always comparing acting and our careers to relationships because it is that we have a relationship with our career. We have a relationship with our goals and our desires. And so I'd rather love hard and feel it and know what that feeling even feels like. So even an audition, I'd rather go hard in the paint, fully commit to this character. Oh, I'm pinned. Wonderful. I'm going to sit in the expectation that it's mine. And then if it, if, if it so happens that that role doesn't work out, it is not time wasted. It is not time wasted. I got to sit in it. I got to see myself on set. I got to sit in it. And I don't even know the door that is sitting open, the door that is sitting ajar, waiting for me to walk through because I'm, 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 I'm sitting in this moment, but I will, I will be led to that next open door. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down, you feel me? What's up, Instagram? What's up, Facebook? You see what I'm saying? So on this Saturday, as we go through our weekend, I just want you to sit in a high vibration, high expectancy space. I expect the best. These are some affirmations you can take with you. I expect the best. Great things always happen for me. I expect the best. I'm a booking magnet. Things always work out for my good. Everything is working together for my good. Everything is working together for my good. I expect the best. Everything always works out for me. Yeah, my expectations are high. What do you expect? Because whatever it is that you expect, you get that and nothing more. You get what you expect. That's from people. <laughs> That's from experiences. You get what you expect. So some of y'all getting results that you don't like. Well, that's where your expectations are. That's, that's the vibration you're working on. You change your vibration, you ch and I know I'm coming to y'all a little woo-woo this morning, but you change what's going on in here, what's going on up here, it will change everything in your life. If you don't like the people around you, set a different expectation and then be the change you wanna see, yes? I wanna be with someone who's loving. When I find myself you know, being married, being married, marriage, marriage is not for children, right? Being married, you'd be like, I just want, I wish, you know, if I, I, want, I want more kisses. Well, kiss some more. Right? You want more, I, I think, you're not being affectionate. Well, are you being affectionate? <laughs> I want more auditions. I want, you know, I wish my agent, I wish my manager would pitch me. Are you pitching yourself? Are you reaching out to anybody? You get what you expect. What's up, Tune Day? Hi, Dominique. You've been seeing numbers, 1111, 222, 444. Go ahead and play them numbers. <laughs> Oh gosh, look, I'm not gonna keep y'all this morning. Uh, what's up, Crystal Lee Brown? What's up, Anya Mel, who I got to meet yesterday? What's up, um, Jakir? Oh, okay, we got a whole little connection on Instagram. I love it, y'all seeing numbers. So that's all, I just wanted to send y'all those good vibes for today. Raise your expectations. I only expect the best because only the best happens for me. You see how confidently I said that? Just try it on for size. All doors will open. Sit in that this weekend. Whatever you're praying about, whatever you're desiring, come at it from a place of joyful desire versus painful need. I got to get it. If I don't get it, this is going to take me down. If I don't get it, I'm just throwing a towel. If I don't get it, 
joyful desire where it just feels good. Put on some music today. It's Saturday. Come on, put on some. Put your favorite song on. I want to challenge you. I'm gonna do that when we get done. Put on your favorite song and let yourself just dance around the house thinking about that which you desire and just like sit in that place like it's already mine feel it what does it feel like like when you're at auditions like what does it feel like to already have the role what does it feel like to already be killing it booking the room like that's the feeling like when i walk in the room that's like that's the vibe i have that's the vibe i have that's contagious people want to be around that right People want to be around that. Like, why don't you be the vibration? You bring the joy. You bring the light. You bring the love. You bring the peace. You bring the happiness. You are that powerful. You have all of that in you already. And when we sit in that, how can we not expect the best? Woo! That's where I'm at this Saturday. Y'all have an amazing day. Again, this is Actors Daily Bread. If you've never seen Actors Daily Bread, come on over to my YouTube channel, Coach Christine Horn. Instagram, the link is in my bio. Easily find it. And already just go there and just binge. Get what you need. And do me a favor, Facebook, just give me a like, a thumbs up. And, you know, tell an actor friend if you haven't already. You know, let's share the love. Have a great day. I'm going to say bye, Facebook. See you guys next time. Bye.